on booster ignition and lift off of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. 15 years ago today, John Glenn became the oldest man to fly into space. He did so at age 77. You may not know his rocket launched as a result of Newton's third law of motion. The everyday workings of the world are explained in National Geographic's new book, Science of Everything. It features a foreword by former New York Times technology columnist David Pogue. You recently joined Yahoo. Welcome. Thank you so much. Now, you argue in the foreword that there's a sense of kind of anti-science. There is. The number of people in America who challenge you know, evolution and theories of global warming mm -hmm. and but some huge percentage think that man and dinosaurs coexist. I mean, there's sort of an anti-science bent. But let me offer an alternative. I just think there's a great fascination with science in America, too. Look at the bestseller list. There's always those kinds of books about the brain or something else move to the bestseller list. Well, I guess that it takes all kinds. But <laughs> I, would, I would like to see greater than 50% believing in established scientific yeah. principles. And I guess the gist of this book is that everything is science. The washing machine, your tattoo, the food you cook, everything is fundamental laws of science. You it's said it doesn't have to be dry or scary. It just has to be presented well. And if you read this book, we'll be wiser and more amazed. So go ahead. Make us wiser and amaze us. Well, I mean, ahead, e everything there is. You know, like uh, I was reading the, the manuscript and read about the washing machine. What could be less scientific than a washing machine? It just swirls around in soap and water. But it turns out that it's Newton's first law, which is that an object in motion will stay in motion. In this case, that is the water, as, it's, as the drum is spinning, the water flies out the little holes because <laughs> mm -hmm. the wall is not there to act on it to stop it. So even that is this 325-year-old scientific principle. See, everything you say is so exciting to me. And I, this, is, this is what I think about you, David Pope. You describe yourself as a giant vat of creative juices. <laughs> You dropped a sizable surprise bomb uh, earlier last week when you said you were going to Yahoo. Wow. So were you not allowed to exercise your giant vat of creative juices at well, the New York Times? Did you pick up the phone and was Marissa Meyer saying, come on over? Um, yes, Yahoo approached me this summer. And I, I mean, I've been at the New York Times for 13 years. I love them. I thought I would be there till I died. Um, but their quote was, we want to be your playground. I Yahoo. mean, they pointed out they're all digital so they can be apps and interactive chats and video and audio and prose all mixed together. I mean, they can do things with this gigantic reach of 800 million readers a month. I mean, that's, that's catnip for a creative guy. So you weren't worried about losing the reach of the New York Times? It's, it's a different audience. I mean, New York Times readers are, of course, very well-educated and maybe a little older. Um, but the size and the international scope of, of Yahoo is just crazy immense. Mm -hmm. and so what's the great vision for Yahoo to become? Um, I think what Marissa Meyer, the new CEO, is aiming for is to move beyond the phase where Yahoo is just a repackager of other people's information right. and to get people to write their own stuff. So our new tech site, which launches in a couple weeks, is going to be, as I call it, not just what gadgets to buy, mm -hmm. but how to use it. Mm -hmm. No one ever talks about that, the troubleshooting, the tips and tricks, um, you know, how to do the things you want. If one more person asked me, how do I get the music from my iPod or phone to my computer. Is there a way to do that? Well, I, yes, there I have is. Wondered. But there, do they say things have changed already over at Yahoo? That there's a difference already in the culture? There is. I mean, I'll, I'll be totally honest. I, I thought, Yahoo, seriously? Like, aren't they dead? <laughs> like, ooh? Yeah, exactly. And they insisted that I spend a couple days at their headquarters. Yeah. Unbelievable. They act like a startup company. The, yeah. the cars are in the parking lot until 9 p.m. Friday nights. 42% oh, nice. of the company when you're is making new. A, when you make an important decision like this, does money play a role? Everything plays a role, yeah. Money. And, and they, they said they'd be hiring me as staff so we could expand oh, our staff. reach. Yeah. Yeah. I love David. Yes, money plays a role. Yeah. Well, come on. Does money not play a role for you? Look, look we're not knocking it. Nobody's knocking it. I was just talking about the catnip. <laughs> David Polk, thank you. The science of everything goes on sale today.